Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for Basic Sorgonomics for this June 23rd, 2015. It's podcast day. I hope you're tuning in with us. Live.sorgatronmedia.com starting at 5 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to have a very special guest in Chris Whitlatch talking about PSAs and podcasting and all the other awesome shows, awesome cast, boss battle, wrestling man show, indie mayhem show, as usual. Well, we might have a little bit different schedule going on the next week because we might have some interesting holidays, social media days coming up. So today, and of course, check out everything else at Sorgatron.com. Please subscribe to the newsletter and uh, to the, the the podcast, the video blog, all that kind of stuff. And uh, check out the uh, post from the, the newsletter, uh, LB and the, the Sorg Morning Power Hour, Morning Afternoon Power Hour, excuse me, the latest Happy Cast. We're going to try to coin Happy Cast with this. Kind of a mindful... Uh, a a, a, a a mindful cleansing. There's a whole, oh, there's a good old term from "You Look Nice Today." Uh, uh, it was a it was a diary of mental hygiene, and I kind of want to have my own version of that a little bit. And we're we're developing something there, and kind of finding our foothold and seeing what that is. So enough of that. So what are we going to talk about here on basic sorgonomics? And and I got to start thinking about um, um, money, 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 money. We. we we do a lot of things in the gorilla way uh, when it comes to social media around here, when it comes to video production. Uh, don't have a lot of money to throw around. If you even saw the other side of this setup, uh, you know, it, we're doing things in, in kind of building networks the old fashioned way, right? And, and I do battle with that. At what point do you throw some money at the situation? What am I talking about? Uh, for instance, if you're on Facebook, right, and you got a page, and now we're at this point where the organic numbers don't do anything. They've really suppressed that on Facebook. They, 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 they gave it to you and they took it away. And it's really hard to uh, reach those people that are even liking your page. It's not just about them hitting that like button, but now you also have to find reasons for them to find you, to engage, and, and, and other ways for your content to show up in that news feed, right? And, and, and I listen to Gary Vaynerchuk all the time, name dropping him again, once again, of course. I mean, he's just kind of the, the guy doing the interesting thing and talking to me in, in the way that I need to hear it, I think, at this point. And he talks about dark posts. Like, you need to be doing dark posts. You need to do this. Be like, that's a great idea, Gary V. I have no capital to put into that. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, 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 and sometimes that's just because it's a, it's a podcast I do just to do. You know, the podcasts I do here are not money-making podcasts. They have gotten me to a point where I'm known for X, got clients, and now I pay, get paid to do their podcast, their social media, and help them build an audience um, as awesome as, as we built with, like, say, the Wrestling Mayhem show. And, and in some cases, it's they pay me to come do a thing. They're not putting the money into advertising on top of that. This should be enough for that. And, and, and for, for clients that I work with, it is. It completely is. They are engaging with that audience. People are finding them. You put the things around the office, say, hey, find us on Facebook. They're liking us on Facebook. They're finding out about events that are happening, about uh, services that are being offered you know they're they're a part of that ecosystem and people are coming in the door and say hey i saw your video hey i saw that article hey we're all showing up this event because we saw it on facebook or whatever that case may be but facebook is certainly certainly the primary we're seeing the numbers we're seeing the responses on things like pinterest we're seeing everything there even though all those services twitter pinterest facebook youtube are saying are in bugging us to boost a post, pay for this, promoted pins on Pinterest, promoted tweets on Twitter. That was a great tweet. You got some engagement with that. To tweet it to more people and, and, and do that. Now, if you are spending money on this, I, I'm hoping that you are kind of creating something engaging. Because if you're just paying money for, for a billboard to show up in somebody's news feed, that's it. Maybe you want to have them click through and buy a thing. Sure. But it's not just click this thing, buy a thing. As Gary V says, that's the right hook. Where's your jab? And even when you're advertising and bringing that awareness up, maybe you should be bringing a, a, a picture up that that makes people want to engage with it you know hey what do you guys think of this and that gets them engaging with your thing maybe they hit the like button they know what your podcast product is 
you know, you're you're paying for that awareness, not just a click through and a buy. And that's why it's interesting with the numbers. You know, somebody told me, you know, you can really kind of do make the numbers say whatever you want to. And, and I'm not in the business of, uh, you know, we pay you to do this and we get 30 percent more in sales. I, I've turned down. I've, tur- I've turned down clients that have said that uh, because th- th- that's what they want because that's not what I do. I'm not hacking Twitter. I'm not, I'm not finding the best way to get in front of people. I'm not buying followers so you're, 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 you're shopping your product to more and more people and making the numbers look good. We are communicating with people. We are trying to find out what that message is so they, the, so they want to just talk with us they want to engage with us they want to like and share the videos that we're making the little music videos we're making as we talked about last week you know i want that to be something you know again something i hear all the time are you making something of value are you making something of value that people are interested in and as they are looped into that maybe they'll buy a dvd maybe they'll 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 pick up on this thing you know you need to put have Geez, I feel like I'm 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 drawing in all those words I keep hearing from all the uh, professionals, but uh, all the uh, high end. I want to do a speaker circuit uh, professionals, but but you have to. It, content is king. It still is, and we talked about that before on this show as well. And uh, as long as that content, let's uh, scale this back a little bit. Uh, one of the big inspirations for that is uh, the uh, Berg. Oh, now it's escaping me. The, the the ladies, the Berg ladies on the Facebook, that <laughs> the black and gold ladies. That's right. Uh, they were at a on a panel uh, for social media. Uh, 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 the fellow from the Met, uh, who does uh, social media for them, he was a keynote speaker, and they had other guys on a, uh, on the uh, panel, including a, a guy from the Trib, uh, Rob Rossi, I believe it was, uh, Charlie Batch, and a few other people have done some pretty uh, cool things around the area. And, and 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 they said we don't pay for ads. We just go on there and and converse. And that's a very engaging subject. Like let's talk about the Steelers. Let's talk about everything going around the Steelers. Let's talk about being a lady fan around the Steelers or what you know whatever that case may be. It's engaging enough and the people show up. The people flock to it and it works and they don't need to pay for anything to get that awareness to get done. Whatever that case may be. Now, I don't think they're really kind of shopping out a product. They're not really, you know, this is not a company venture. This is a community venture. So there's a little bit different, a little bit of a different uh, uh, vibe and reason for it. You know, it's just like one one client is not really looking for people to, you know, they don't need more clients. They want to educate and reach out and community surface. Now that comes around to their clients are now more educated when they walk in the door on certain subjects. It all helps in the end, right? Uh, other others are just, uh, you know, for a podcast, they just want that community to be aware and engaged in the show to help the show become bigger and better, and maybe advertisers, who knows, or or just, you know, be around the show. Or we're working on one right now where um, they're working on building up a practice, still in the planning stages, but want to go ahead and establish the podcast so that they have their personality, their brand, personal brand. We're going to say that word again. Uh, and, and that's going to build up before they even have somebody coming in the door. But that's a name that will be out there under this heading, right? And uh, that's 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 where it's going to come to, you know, it's, it keep getting asked, how am I going to make money at this podcast? You're not going to make money at the podcast. You're going to make money from the people that listen to your podcast and the percentage of those people that listen to your podcast that end up walking through your door and becoming a client or recommending people say, Hey, this guy knows what he's talking about. This guy sounds like an expert. This practice sounds like they're the experts in this field to help you with this problem. And that's how you make the money. It's it's a more effective billboard, perhaps you could say. That's probably really minimalizing it. That's certainly really minimalizing the idea. But it kind of is. It kind of is. You're doing that for that awareness. You're you're finding that audience again, engaging with them. It's not the day where you can throw money at the problem, and that's it. Now. You're throwing money at the problem as in you're getting a social media guy to do this. You're spending your time to personally socialize with these people. That's the expense. 
and probably the more valuable expense in the long run. So we go back to the question, should I be spending money on my social media? It depends on your scale. If you're not, certain practices I work with don't need 10,000 likes. The 200 likes do fine. We've talked about the videos where that one to one had 30 views and was a boon for the person's business because the right 30 people saw it. Two or three, four people walked through the door, their new clients, and that was a worthy venture. And then another one had 1,500 hits within the first week, and that was a big venture, and that was a big uh, helping that person become an expert. So think about your scale. Don't compare directly to your GMs and your Walmarts and everything else out there and be like, I don't have anything like those. When you do your watch page, if you're in Insights on, on Facebook, don't pick the big ones. Pick who your competitors are in the market. When I'm in an indie wrestling or an, a wrestling podcast Facebook page, who are the indies in my area and I'm compared to? Who are the other wrestling podcasts that I would compare myself to that I would like to, one, look up to as inspiration and see how am I, how am I comparing? Am I catching up with them? Or... Yeah, maybe the guys that pissed you off that you want to do better then. Um, but <laughs> that's going to be a more realistic goal. And you can put the money into it, sure. But you better back it up. Let me know what you think. Should you pay? Are you paying? I know some friends I've had some really good discussions with. They're working with companies that do pour money into that. That's a whole other, that is a whole other subset of skills. And uh, definitely worthwhile to some people, but I'm telling you, it's not for everybody. It doesn't have to be for everybody. I will reiterate, I think social media is a great free tool for the people that know how to use it right. So at Sorgatron on the Twitter, so many more uh, videos and such at Sorgatron.com. I just recently did a Loot Crate Unbox video. A little geeky, having some fun for InsertCoinToBegin.com. Go check it out. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.